Hey everyone, Shannon Morse here with GeForce, and I'm joined by Armand to talk about Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord. And I gotta say, the demo is really, really cool. This is such a unique game, so as soon as I was thrown into it, my first question was, oh my gosh, do I need to play the first game to understand what's going on in the second? Absolutely not. Um, actually, uh, one thing we try to do is to make the game very much accessible and easy to get into and easy to understand. Our first game, Mountain Blade Warband, the previous title, it was very much liked by our player base, but then it was also a little bit difficult to get into and difficult to understand, and a lot of players were turned off by that. So we wanted to really remedy that and make sure that the game is really easy to get into. We have a great tutorial. You can just right-click on everything and you will see the entry for it. We try to work really, really very hard on accessibility and ease of learning because our game is challenging and interesting and has a very deep gameplay and we don't really want anyone to miss it. Yeah, this one is very unique. It's a sandbox, it's got action, it's got role playing, it's got everything all mixed into one. How did you come up with this idea? We wanted to really create the dream of every hardcore gamer. You start with your own character, you just have your sword and your horse and nothing else, but then you can gather an army, you can raise troops, you can take over castles, become the lord or lady of a castle or a town, and then joining a kingdom, getting into intrigue with various other nobles and then trying to become the ruler of the world and you can ignore all of that and just play as a merchant if that's your thing. So we have everything. I'm glad that you mentioned that you can play both lords and ladies and things of that nature because it seems like you can really customize your character to however you feel. Yes, definitely. You can really customize the physical look of your character and you can also customize the character build. We have a very deep character system in the new game. Uh, and we have uh, something like 18 different skills and each skill has to be practiced individually so that you can learn it. Now while I played an archer on a steed which I thought was so cool that I can actually do some bow and arrow shooting on a horse, how do you go into the fight and gain experience for specific different weapons? The game tries to understand what you are achieving and tries to reward exactly that. So for example, if you are shooting with a bow and arrow, obviously you are using the bow skill but it also tries to understand for example if you are shooting at a moving target then it grants you more experience and if you are shooting at a very distant target then it grants you even more experience and if you are going very fast on your horse then it understands that you are also using your riding skill and it also gives you some riding experience so it tries to combine everything. Well I love this game it was really really fun to play so thank you for giving us a demo. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to any of our Gamescom 2018 coverage for your chance to win one of our GeForce RTX 2080 Ti's. I'm Shannon Morris. Thanks for watching.